Hello all, welcome to QAvalidation.com. In this session, we will see how we can come to know more about the Selenium packages and their available classes and methods. Okay, so you're not understanding, right? What I'm talking. So, okay. So let me give you an example. So let's say if you are starting with the Selenium script, how you do? You go to any kind of editor. So let's say that I'm talking about Selenium with Java. So you go to a popular uh, editor that is Eclipse. Okay, uh, saying web driver space driver equal to new Firefox driver. Okay, and then you go to the next line and you say that driver dot control space and the eclipse will give you all available methods on that so now this is one way of getting all the methods for that driver object but if you see the selenium given us a nice documentation about all available packages and also their available classes and which class inherited which class and what and all the available methods for that class what methods got deprecated coming with the releases of the selenium uh, versions okay so all these things you can come to know so without any delay let's get started okay so to come to know the selenium packages the selenium given one uh, url that is uh, so I, I can list out this one into the description below so that you can refer okay so as you can see here these are all available packages with selenium okay and these uh, i mean it, th these are the packages okay now if you go to the uh, each uh, one of the package you can come to know what and all the available classes for that so if you see currently i am hi highlighting on the firefox package it means that i can come to know what and all the classes are available for the firefox package okay so you all familiar with the Firefox driver right so let's get uh, to the Firefox driver so this is basically my package okay and this is my class you can see the class is the Firefox driver okay so now uh, we will see who is the immediate parent of this Firefox driver so this is nothing but remote web driver please keep a note of this that the web driver is not the immediate parent class or the interface for the Firefox driver. So the immediate class is nothing but my remote web driver. Okay. So web driver is an interface. Yes, it's an interface. How do I know? I can click on this. You can see web driver. Okay. Now what and all the implemented classes that is nothing but my remote web driver. If I click on this remote web driver, I will see all direct known subclasses okay so how is the uh, what you call the hierarchy first is the web driver interface and then remote web driver got the or inherited the properties of the web driver or it is basically implemented from the web driver okay and then the firefox driver class is inherited from the remote web driver class okay so this is one thing you can get to know from this uh, api document okay now let's go to the firefox driver and see what and all are the available methods okay so if you scroll down you can see one thing is that it's a constructor okay you can see here the constructor and its definition or its description okay so firefox driver is a overloaded constructor because the firefox driver name is same across here but the arguments differ from here so if you see one more uh, important point here that from selenium 3.0 the firefox driver accepting the desired capability got deprecated instead of that you can use the firefox options okay and um, and i have a uh, what do you call it? i have a blog uh, blog post created for this so instead of desired capability Capabilities, how you can use the Firefox or Firefox options okay and uh, I will provide that link into the description so that you can refer later point of time okay so this is basically the constructor of the Firefox driver and these are my available class uh, the methods sorry it's the methods for that okay now what I'm talking I can show you one visualization here so let's say that um, I will create a new class here and let's say I am just giving something for now and I should be giving it as uh, okay so now here if I go 
so web driver quickly let me create one object a new firefox driver okay so here if you see now see as soon as i written the firefox it's uh, importing the package it's importing the package up to the firefox is package and this is my class okay so now here if i go i say driver i can see all these available methods so, so these methods are nothing but these are okay so you can click one by one to see what is their uh, functionality so let's say that if i am going to the get okay so get what it says so it says that it doesn't return you anything but it performs a certain operation what it accepts first thing is that it accepts an argument that is nothing but your url so your browser url once you get that so what it is telling load a new web page in the current browser window so when you open the driver equal to new firefox driver what it does it invokes a firefox browser right as soon as it invokes if you write driver dot get and then if you provide any kind of browser url what it does you can see the description here so this is one of the way you can get to know more about this get method okay and you can get to know the title now is the same thing now here if you see the get method it does not return you anything right it is a void but if here you will see the get title returns you a string ok now what it returns you can see that you can see here the title of the current page ok so you can get to know more about the get title method ok and then you can get to know more about the get current url it means that it is again returning you a string what is the string string that is representing the current url of the browser ok so like this you can get to know more about the methods and the descriptions and their arguments and even you can get to know if it is a uh, overloading method or not uh, i mean you can see what and all the parameters it can accept so this is one of the way you can get to know more about the available methods for that particular class ok and now the same way how i uh, shown you just now your firefox you can see more about that for the chrome so for chrome all the available options are here ok i mean available classes if you click on each class you can get to know more about that so here you can see something called as a chrome option so if you see here it gives you an example also i mean why uh, how can i use the chrome options so you can create an object of that chrome options class and then you can add an extension so let's say that you want to add, add any kind of uh, chrome extension you can just provide the path of that from your local drive okay and you can add that extension you can set the binary if you have a chrome driver uh, uh, i mean chrome browser installed in some other location instead of the default location that is nothing but your c program files if you are using windows then you can use that ok and then you can see chrome driver driver equal to new chrome driver options so here is something if i can show you that the desired capabilities so ok i am right now at chrome options right let me go to the chrome driver so here also you can see so here you can see they give a nice uh, example also what you can do with the uh, i mean how you can deal with the chrome driver okay and then if you see here something yes i wanted to show you this one so if you see here chrome driver capabilities uh, so this is now deprecated instead of that you can use the chrome options so this deprecated methods you can get to know more about this here and instead of that what you can use also you can see so just before we were seeing right what is the chrome options so if you click on that you can see the chrome options what you can do with the chrome options you can set the uh, what do you call extension you can add an extension chrome extension you can set the binary path of the chrome uh, browser ok you can uh, even add certain arguments you can even set some kind of uh, uh, you can get the capabilities as well from there ok 
you can get the experimental uh, options you can get the platform let's click on that and see so it will give you what kind of platform you are using whether windows or uh, Macintosh or Linux operating system so those things you can get it from here so this is one of the nice way you can see all available methods on the particular uh, Chrome driver or Firefox driver even you can see the same thing with your uh, uh, Internet Explorer as well so if you click on that you will get all available uh, what you call the methods if I go a bit more down you can see these are the methods okay so and you can click each uh, each and every method to get to know more about that so this is one way you can click on the uh, package and then go to the particular class and then you can see the all available methods and also from where it is is it a implemented from any kind of interface or it is inherited from any kind of class you can see all those details here okay so if you are not sure so let's say that i am searching about something but that is not under this class okay then how do i search so there is something called as a global search you can go to the index you can see there is a lot more things are there here so these are all methods classes interfaces everything is there uh, i mean they mentioned here so you can do a control f so let's say that i want to know the chrome options so you can go to here and you can see so many available methods uh, and uh, available uh, what do you call search results for the chrome options so let's say that uh, i want to know the get title so i can click on that uh, and I can get to know more about that and it will give you also from which package you need from which uh, class you need that particular method so all those things you can get to know more about this okay so why I am showing this particular URL because when I was uh, doing certain uh, selenium or I was writing uh, the selenium script uh, I was getting more uh, confusion regarding certain because in each uh, release there they will be deprecating certain methods now you want to know okay if that method or that uh, method got deprecated then what is the alternate solution for that if I want to achieve the same thing now while searching I got this API documentation so I thought this could be helpful for you people also and uh, I feel this will encourage and uh, inspire you to get to know more about the selenium methods and the one more the nice thing about this is that you can get to know more deep inside the selenium rather than just uh, doing your normal scripting what you need so th this is basically a platform which you can get to know more about uh, the things you need okay so that effectively you can write the selenium scripts okay so that's all i had to so for today thank you happy